Hey there, so it is 9.13 on Thursday, so this would be day six. Um, got a haircut today. Pretty cute. Um, got it earlier, so it's not quite as cute as when I left this one, but still pretty cute. Um, anyway, so day six. So I've got good news. Oh, there's a strand of random hair. Bugging me. Whatever. Okay. Um, so good news and bad news. So bad news first. Um... So I broke the fast of the fast. Um, so remember yesterday I was like, oh, until day 11, I'm only gonna do fresh fruits and veg and blah, 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 blah. Well, I didn't do that. Um, good news is, is that I did stay raw. Um, really poor planning on my part. Didn't have anything in that I, that really sounded any good. Um, I'm kind of over having to drink my meals. Um, at least for now. Um, so yeah, so kind of poor planning on my part. I didn't have a whole lot in that I necessarily wanted to eat. Um, I ended up having two apples for breakfast, um, after waiting way too long to eat. We got up in the morning, um, did a little shopping, got some stuff for the house, and next thing I knew it was noon, and I hadn't eaten, and... Uh, no bueno. So I uh, came home, had my two apples, got ready to go to my hair appointment. I realized I was freaking starving knowing that I was going to have to sit in the chair. The hair appointment for an hour and a half, two hours, um, and make polite conversation with someone that I'm never going to see again. Um, I wanted to have a little something in my belly. So uh, debating on what to do. Uh, was going to go to Whole Foods and go to the raw food bar and get something there, but then I realized that with traffic and stuff I wasn't going to have enough time because I have to drive all the way through downtown to get to it and downtown traffic. Crazy. Um, so I drove up to the side of town where my appointment was and trying to brainstorm some ideas and then I remembered that one of the juice bars that I go to uh, just opened up a little cafe. So I was like, well, let me go check it out. Worst case scenario, I'll grab a juice and then I will um, go to the store and get something on the way home. Well, lo and behold, they are a 100% raw food cafe. Awesome. Um, so I had a mock sort of take on tuna salad. Um, it is made with almonds and cashews and flaxseed and there was celery in it and the this kind of faux mayo that's made with um, raw coconut oil and uh, then lettuce, tomato, sprouts, that whole thing, and then um, some sprouted bread. Awesome. Mmm, yummy. Um, it was really, really good. Even better than my salad, and I thought my salad the other day was uh, freaking amazing after having just juice for five days or whatever four days, four and a half days. Um, so yeah, that was super, super good. And I didn't even finish the whole thing. I couldn't finish it. I got full. Um, so yeah, awesome. Um, so I don't know, I'm debating, like I'm going to try to do as much just fruit and veg as possible, but, um, like I haven't had anything to eat since then. And that was at 2.15, 2.30, and it's 9.15 right now. So, not that necessarily that's an awesome thing, or the best thing, or even a good thing, but um, I think having some protein and a little bit of healthy fats in there when the nuts um, is really helping. Um, I don't feel tired like I have been the last few days. I don't feel cranky. I don't feel headachey. Um, and all the other e things that I have been feeling the last few days. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna do strictly fruit veg for the first meal, maybe the first two meals, and then um, have one meal that also includes nuts and seeds and maybe some sprouted bread, very sparingly, since it's raw but not 100% raw. Um, they did have. A, a true 100% raw bread um, that they make there, obviously, in-house. Um, but I 
didn't, I don't know, I was like, this was really kind of my for, my first foray into um, prepared raw food recipes, you know, creative faking of other flavors. Um, like I'd never had, you know, Ezekiel bread or anything like that, which is pretty common. Um, so I didn't want to push it too, too far. I was like, well, the last thing that I want is to spend um, six bucks on this sandwich and then I hate it and then, you know, I'm screwed. So I didn't want to do the 100% raw bread. Um, so I did the, the sprouted bread, which uh, depending on who you ask, is raw, is not raw, whatever. Um, I'm over feeling guilty about it. So that's day six. Uh, as far as weight this morning, even with the salad, like yesterday I said that I was fully prepared to not lose a pound or gain a little bit. Well, drum roll please. <coughs> Sorry, dog. Um, I ended up losing 0.9 pounds, so that puts me at uh, 9.7, 9.8 pounds in the um, in the last six days or five days or I guess five days since I have been juicing since I'm still technically in day six. Um, so yeah, um, cool. Feeling pretty good right now. Feeling really, really good right now actually. Um, I finally have energy to start exercising. I'd been going to the gym pretty hardcore up until the juice fast started and then I just didn't have the energy or the willpower um, or the drive or the want to to really do much of anything. Plus the heat's been really bad. So um, finally today I was like, ooh, I really miss going to the gym. I really want to go work out. So might do that uh, tomorrow. Kind of depends on schedule. Um, then Monday here in Austin, every year uh, for Labor Day, they do a free day of yoga where basically all the yoga, studio, yoga studios in town do free classes all day long. So I may hit up um, two of them, maybe three of them. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening. Kind of sounds fun to me. Um, so yeah, feeling good. Um, yeah. So, day six, signing out. I will see you guys tomorrow.